Does vitamin C actually boosts your immune system? Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is an essential vitamin that your body cannot make, so you have to take it from your diet. It's an antioxidant, which means it protects your cells from free radicals and unstable molecules that can cause oxidative stress, aging, and chronic diseases. It also improves iron absorption from plant-based foods, which is very important for blood health and oxygen delivery. Vitamin C is involved in the production of collagen, a protein that forms the structure of your skin, so it helps your body to repair damaged tissues and heal wounds faster. Vitamin C deficiency can cause scurvy, which is a disease that can lead to bleeding gums, loosened teeth, and bleeding under your skin. Obviously, the treatment for this condition includes getting plenty of vitamin C in your system. So what is the recommended daily allowance or RDA for vitamin C? The RDA for adults is 75 milligrams for women and 90 milligrams for men per day. If you smoke, you would need an extra 35 milligrams of vitamin C per day because smoking depletes vitamin C levels in your body. So where can I get this vitamin C? There are a lot of foods that are rich in vitamin C, such as citrus fruits, tomatoes, potatoes, strawberry, peppers, and kiwi fruit. On a side note, you should eat these fruits and vegetables raw or lightly cooked because vitamin C is sensitive to heat and storage. Now the final and most important question, does vitamin C boosts your immune system? Well, the evidence is mixed. Some studies found out that consuming up to two grams of vitamin C may reduce the duration and severity of cold symptoms by a day or two for some people. On the other hand, some studies did not find any evidence that vitamin C can treat or prevent cold or flu. Moreover, taking too much vitamin C can cause some side effects like diarrhea, nausea, and kidney stones. Therefore, it's better to not take vitamin C supplements and stick to taking vitamin C from your diet or from your food, unless your doctor says otherwise. In my opinion, taking vitamin C about one gram a day when you have cold can have a small benefit, even psychological benefit, of feeling energetic and feeling better. I usually take it, I usually consume like one tablet, one gram of vitamin C a day when I'm cold, not more than that because the upper limit is two grams a day. Do not take more than two grams a day and that's food and supplements together. Always calculate your foods and supplements because some people just take supplements like two grams and they are eating like five, six oranges and you're taking vitamin C from them also. So you're taking more than two grams. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Comment down below what you wanna know about next and I'll see you in the next one.